Hi there, this is a Dark Queen. I really would appreciate if you could like and subscribe to our channel, Creepy Signal, where we will be bringing you more nightmare material. Today, since it's the holidays, I thought I'd go with a nice story from my book, Traditional Tales of Tejano Terror. And with me, I have my own little companion, El Mortito. But yes, definitely check out our book, Traditional Tales of Tejano Terror. I say our book because El Mortito is at the very end. Noche de los Killer Puppets, Night of the Killer Puppets. And Ed Mortito is a star in it. I will give you that. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be reading today a chapter, chapter 5, Legend of Lechusa. When I was little, my abuelita would tell me of these stories, these legends. And I thought she was just using their underlying lessons to help keep me in line. Said your prayers? Yes, Grandma, I'd reply. Good. You know they hate good little boys and girls. The Lechusa is a creature, a witch, that waits until night to hunt for the souls of children. And if you ever see one, be sure to curse at it. Abuelita said just before tucking me in, I would catch a whiff of her rose-scented perfume as she kissed me on the forehead. Grandma, why do you tell me scary stories before I go to sleep? I asked. I, my little tortilla snatcher, I wish they were stories. It is a legend that has been passed down to me since I was your age. And there are many things in life and the afterlife that we don't understand and never will. But we learn in accepting its existence and manage. And we do this to protect the ones we love. And one day, Many, many years from now, you will tell this to your children and grandchildren. This would be the last time she had told me of the Lechusa. Thirty years of marriage and divorce later, I find myself still thinking about those stories. While tucking in Lily, a six-year-old little tortilla snatcher of my own, but sometimes I think worse. She had already had a bad day at school. Bullying can be hard for kids to cope with. It was Dia de los Muertos, and I thought to myself, why not? Did you say your prayers? I asked. Lily nodded yes. Good, because they hate good little girls. I said in the most wicked voice I could say. Who? Lily asked, while sitting up with her back against her marshmallow princess pillow. The Lechusa, of course. It is a monster, kind of like a witch, a big, large bird having an owl's body with a woman's face that takes children in the night. And so you say a prayer just before bedtime to make sure it doesn't snatch you up. That sounds scary, Lily said while hiding under the covers as a gentle autumn breeze drifted in from the open window that I usually close right after tucking her in. It can be and which is why I took you in every night. There was a sound, a strange sound, coming from the front door that had, that had interrupted me dead in my tracks. Hold on, you stay there, I pointed at Lily. As I walked closer and closer, I could hear the sound of a crying baby. Me having been a mother, if this was an infant, it sounded only weeks old. As I walked closer and closer, I could hear the sound coming from the other side of the front door. Hello? I asked. No response. And the cries only got louder. This was 1984, and I had already read magazine articles and, and had seen episodes uh, on Oprah and Sally Jesse Raphael just like this. I grabbed my aluminum bat. And if there was some sort of pervert or sicko on the other side of that door, boy, was I going to formally greet him when I unlocked that deadbolt. But when I opened the door, there was nothing. There was no one, not even a car in the street. While I was out there, I could see slight flickers and flashes from an upcoming storm headed our way. Then suddenly I started hearing loud knocks 
coming from the pecan tree. The pecan tree towered over our entire house. It echoed loud and the sound started somewhere high up in the tree. And that's when I realized it. High up near the window, Lily's window. Lily, I cried as I shouted and ran down the hall towards her room. I had just remembered I had forgotten to close a window in her room. When I arrived out of breath, I noticed that the window was already closed. And as the thunder crashed down, I caught a glimpse of what was waiting and sitting in the trees. The body of a large bird with the dark soulless face of a woman watching us through our window. Get out of here, you pincha bruja, I said, and in an instant the creature had vanished. That night I stayed in my daughter's room, wondering how the windows could have been closed. As I shut my eyes, I smelled the same rose perfume that my grandmother had always worn, and that's when I understood what my grandmother was trying to tell me about the things we don't understand. Well, that's chapter five, Legend of Lachusa.